Hi, I'm Tori and today I'm going to be talking about What I Did for Love by Susan Elizabeth Phillips. I listened to the audiobook narrated by Julia Gibson. So this is a romance novel. It is part of a series, I believe part of the Ynet Texas series, but the great thing about romance novel series is that they all have different protagonists, so it doesn't matter if you read them in order at all. It counts as being part of a series because there are some passing characters who are in other novels. I recognized the main pair from The Glitter Baby, which I'd already read, and there might have been some callbacks from other books, but it doesn't matter. You don't have to read the series in order at all. So this was a really fun book. The basic premise is that our main character, Georgie, is a famous movie star who is um, trying to hide from the paparazzi and they're just harassing her. They're harassing her and pitying her because she's going through a very public divorce. And one day she's in Las Vegas, as celebrities are when they're not doing much of anything, and she runs into Bram, who is her co-star from a TV show that made her famous a long time ago and who she has always, and who she hates and has hated for most of the time she's known him and the feeling is kind of mutual. And one thing leads to another and wouldn't you know, they accidentally get married! And of course, normal people would get an annulment or a divorce or something along those lines at this point, but it's part of public record and she doesn't want the paparazzi to pity her. So they decide to stay married for the next year just to kind of lead the press on. And it's this great concept because the paparazzi follow them everywhere so they have to go live in the same house together and all these things. They just bicker and have this amazing chemistry and it's so much fun. So this is a great book. It has a few... It doesn't have too many problematic elements romance-wise, especially compared to some other romance novels I've read, but um, it does have some really, like, body-shaming issues. They're horrible to this one character who's overweight. Everyone is just so cruel, and that really bugged me. But apart from that, I really like this story. I thought it was loads of fun, and I love the premise. So go read it, and then come back to hear my opinions. So my favorite part of this book was about the first two-thirds, you know, the whole setup, all the times where they're living together and trying to get things figured out. I loved the quarantine situation. That was just too amazing. It was perfect. All these people squished up in a house together, all trying to keep their secrets from each other. It was so much fun. I had a great time with this concept. I actually really liked the part where before Georgie realized that she was in love with Bram and they were just faking their marriage, I thought they actually had a fairly healthy marriage, especially by like Hollywood standards, you know, and they seemed to get along well and try to talk things out nicely and it was just so much fun to watch them and I loved it so much. Now once we hit like the last section of the book, where Georgie figures out that, oh, she really is in love with Bram. Then it gets a little bit slower. You kind of go through that formulaic thing, you know, it's like the mandatory part of this sort of thing where they get everything resolved and they have to figure out how to live happily ever after and you get the epilogue with all the happy little kids. And at, one thing I will say for that is that all romance novels, it seems to me, have the epilogue with the happy little kids. But all... It doesn't seem to matter about the character's feelings, and at least in this one, she really wanted kids, so that epilogue actually makes sense more than it does in most of the novels where I see it used. I did think it was a little convenient that she'd had this horrible relationship with her father all her life, you know, and it was just terrible, but it turns out it was just a kind of misunderstanding that can be solved with one conversation, and now everything's fixed and they're best friends. So that was a little easy. And then Aaron lost weight, which made him magically happy, and because, you know, he'd done something, he'd mentioned he was nerdy, he liked nerdy stuff, then in the epilogue, suddenly they had him um, developing video games to make loads of money, which is hilarious because they never mentioned any interest in programming. They never mentioned any interest in game development. They said he'd like to play video games, but he was a personal assistant. He didn't have any kind of training for video game development. It was very, that just, like, everyone who's nerdy must, um, design video games and make lots of money, and so that was kind of out of left field. So I thought the last, you know, that last little conclusion bit was about average, you know, it didn't do, it didn't seem like it was anything special, but the first part and the whole setup was so great. 
Okay, so pretty much all the problems I had with this book revolved around the character of Aaron. He was very overweight, and he was nerdy and played video games, and everyone was revolted by how overweight he was, and they thought it was completely alright to tell him that he was disgusting and needed to do something about himself, because no one would love him or like him or tolerate him if he didn't lose some weight. It seemed like they were trying to co contrast, you know, oh, Georgie wasn't eating enough and that wasn't healthy and Aaron was eating too much and that wasn't healthy. But the thing is, when Georgie wasn't eating enough, it was seen as a symptom of her depression and a symptom of the mental issues she was going through. And then when she started feeling better, she started eating better. But with Aaron, it was, like, explicitly stated that he had a hard time socially because he was overweight and that once he lost weight that gave him confidence. It wasn't that he became more confident and learned to take better care of himself, it was that looking good makes you confident and that just seemed like such a horrible message. I couldn't believe how cruel they were. It's This book was like the poster child for how to develop an eating disorder. So yeah, I had a lot of fun reading this book. There were some things that bugged me about it. Overall, this was a very fun book. I loved seeing the dynamics between Georgie and Bram. It was so much fun to watch them. They were awesome. Mostly, it was really fun and I would recommend it.